I think we're gonna gain a few pounds here. This food is all so good. This might be the craziest view from a cruise ship I've ever seen. I have just had this smile on my face since the moment we landed. We are about to spend the next 24 hours staying at the most luxurious hotel in all of Vietnam. This hotel is on a private island in the famous Ha Long Bay. I'm going to give a full tour of the property, the food they offer, and the amenities. But first, let me catch you up on how we got here. Last night we took a 17 hour flight from San Francisco to Van Don Airport in Vietnam. We got our own rows. 17 hours, here we go. There was like a second where we were nervous because we were sitting three in one row. And he's like, we gotta rush back, we gotta go look. It's empty, we got it's it. Beautiful sign. We were in economy, but both had our own rows and slept way better than expected. It's nine o'clock in the morning and we were just surf uh, on an airplane. I think we're gonna like Vietnam. <laughs> that's our hotel over there. When I was looking at a map, I was like, is this even connected to the land? Apparently we're gonna be taking a ferry over there with everybody, welcomed with welcome drinks. This is the life, Jordan. We've never stayed at a private island resort before, so this is exciting. It's a first for everything. This is gonna be fun. This whole trip is gonna be a first for everything. They rolled out the red carpet for you. This is absolutely insane. This place is so cool. I had no idea we were gonna be staying in something this nice. Welcome to Vin Pearl Resort and Spa Halon. Xin chào. Xin chào, xin chào. Good morning. Welcome to Halo. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Vin Pearl Resort and Spa in Halong. This is our room. It's absolutely beautiful. It's massive. Huge bed here. Massive TV. The view's amazing. Wait, we'll get there. Inside here, we've got a mini bar, which I've not seen yet. Oh, yes. Kit Kat. Jordan. I like how it's with our compliments. Yeah. Mini bars are always like a luxury that we never partake of because it's too expensive. But when it's free. Let's do this. Okay. Right when we walked in, we had this beautiful arrangement set up for us with fruit, birds of paradise, and I don't know what's in this box. I'm nervous. Oh, I did not expect that. Look how cute. They're like little desserts. They smell delicious. Did you eat one already? <laughs> this is a Chinese moon cake, and I've eaten so many of these in my day, so I'm calling dibs. Oh, do you think that one is too, the purple one? Is that yeah, for me? Yeah, that's for you. Usually they have like fruit or tart inside. What's the difference between fruit and tart? <laughs> <laughs> this one has like nuts and pistachios. Pretty good, but I have to save room for lunch. Now the part of the room that I've been most excited to see. Our balcony. Maybe. Oh. Wow. So you can see over there are the ferries. That's what we came across on. <clears throat> what? It is a beautiful property. My gosh, I can't believe we're in Vietnam. This is our first international trip in six months, and I have just had this smile on my face since the moment we landed. It feels so good to be traveling again. We were even saying on the ride over here, it's just to see the different architecture, these different homes, and to meet the people. It just it feels like we're home almost. Like this feels way more normal to us. I do kind of have mixed emotions because this is our first trip without linen. Um, 
and we're so far away and it's such a different time zone. So I'm just gonna try my hardest to live in the moment and be excited that Jordan and I have this opportunity to be here. It is currently 9.21 in the morning in Vietnam. Our bodies think it's 7 p.m. And after a 17 hour flight, we are starving. So we're gonna go check out the food here. So this is a full banh mi station. You can make whatever you want, make your own banh mi. What's your favorite? Uh, noodle, chicken, and beef. Okay. Uh, Thank okay. you so much. Yes. One of us went a little American and one of us went a little local. George, don't lie, this is mine. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the most beautiful breakfast buffet we've ever been to. Where'd you get? I got banh mi. They have this banh mi station set up all day. Where? I said banh mi. What's I know. I was, I was like, Where? that's not a banh mi, but I thought, like, <laughs> I'm like, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> they have an all day pho station over there where they'll make any bowl of pho you want. Ask the worker to make her favorite, and this is what she gave me. I have no idea what's in it. Of course you did. <laughs> We have lunch in two hours, so I'm trying to take it easy, but everything just looks so good. Breakfast Bus Bay had options galore. We had bread station, salad station, an American ice station, and then Jordan's favorite, the local one. It was delicious. Chloe decided to take a nap. I'd like to take a nap, yes. But our itinerary says we have lunch in two hours and I need to burn off that banh mi. So I'm gonna go check out the gym. You didn't have a banh mi. No, <laughs> you still have not had a banh mi. The, the pho. One of the reasons we choose to stay in hotels instead of Airbnbs when we travel is for gyms. There's not a lot you can control on the road, but one of them is a fitness routine and eating healthy. So we always try and find a hotel that has a nice gym, and I love seeing what different gyms offer in different countries. Xin chào. Things just keep getting better and better as the day goes on. This pool is sitting in the most pristine location with the Halong Mountains in the background. It's massive. There's only a couple of people here. This is everything I wanted in a Vietnam trip. Oh, this is so refreshing. Right next to the pool, there's this beautiful white sand beach with volleyball, soccer, other activities. I feel like I'm being repetitive in saying just how cool this place is, but it's true. Chloe said that she didn't actually get that much sleep on the flight, so she's gonna be napping for a while, and I'm just gonna hang out here until lunch. She has arisen. 
Barely. But I'm, I'm getting it. Gotta love jet lag. Do ya? We have an absolute feast here. I think something got lost in translation because I ordered seafood pho and he said there was manatee in there. I can't be right. I don't think that's right. I hope it's not right. Maybe it is. I've got sushi, fresh fish, noodles, spring rolls, crab rolls. I got ribeye. <laughs> bon appetit. I think we're gonna gain a few pounds here. This food is all so good. Mm. All right, we're getting a little less casual and going a little bit nicer because we'll be going on a cruise through Halong Bay. Before we ever started traveling, I made a list of things I wanted to do all over the world and cruise through Halong Bay was one of those things. And so I am super excited to finally be able to do this. Bit of a dream come true. Give me some mascara. You would be so <laughs> pretty with mascara. <laughs> Let's go, girl. Oh, oh. oh thanks. Vietnam is because there's this group called Vin Group and they have brought us out here to show us their new cars with their subgroup called Vin Fast. Basically they're showing us all of Vietnam. They have a hand in pretty much every industry here in Vietnam and we're absolutely honored to be here. So today's our first day. We kind of relaxed at the resort called Vin Pearl and they rented out this cruise for us to go along the Halong Bay, which has been an absolute dream of ours. So we just arrived, took a little tour around, but we hear really loud music upstairs, so let's head up there. Let's go! This is our home for the next six hours. Just gonna cruise, have fun, watch the sunset, have some dinner. I'm stoked. It's gonna be fun. View from a cruise ship I've ever seen. And that's the hotel we're staying at, right behind us. It's a creator fest out here. Instagram's everywhere. Look at the gimbals. <laughs> We've been cruising through mountains just like this for the last two hours now, and this is everything I hoped it would be. Totally reminds me of Thailand, the big, green, tall, limestone Avatar Mountains. It was named UNESCO's eighth wonder of the world, and it totally lives up to the hype. Everything is just completely beautiful. I thought we were at the best of it, and then now we are just a few feet from each of these rock walls. It just keeps getting prettier and prettier. When we first started out on the cruise, it was beautiful. But as we keep going and we get deeper within these, are we calling them mountains, islands? I don't know, they're unbelievable. About every 10 minutes our scenery changes, and I love it. Since our boat is so big, I wasn't sure how close to these rocks we could get, but we are just a few feet away from these, and it's so cool. I really didn't expect to get this close. The sun just started to set, it's golden hour, and I didn't even know it was possible, but it did get more beautiful. <laughs> How many times am I gonna say that today? I found us some spring rolls with shrimp and vegetables, and they said you have to dip them in this fish sauce and it makes it way better. All right, I believe them. Give it a try. Really good.
I'm honestly not sure what just happened. We were at dinner and it turned into sort of a rave dance party. <laughs> And we are so jet lagged and tired that we didn't really know what was going on. So I said, let's hop on that first boat back. I appreciate my sleep and I need my sleep. We've not slept in so long. Oh, oh. good night. Good night. Oh no, my shoes. We're all packed up besides the shoes and leaving Vin Pearl today. This has been an amazing stay, but it's only the first of many adventures in Vietnam. So we have a lot more videos coming. Wow, oh my God. Look how cool this is. Over on this side, you can see Ha Long Bay. And then over on this side, you can see the city of Ha Long. Goodbye, Ha Long Bay.